Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here on February 11th, bringing some commentary here in the energy market. So let's get started. Crude prices, a little bit weaker this morning. March oil's trading right now around 49.20. It's off about 80 cents. Uh, Brent's also weaker. That's off about a buck and a half right now. Uh, buck in the trend, though, here is natural gas. Natural gas prices right now are up about eight to nine cents. Uh, it's up about 3% right now. We've been up as high as about 5%. And, you know, take a look at a natural gas chart if you haven't done so recently. Uh, back here just a little bit ago on February 6th, we were pushing lows of down around the 256 area. Today we hit a high of around 285.70. So we've really seen that market turn around. Some pretty big moves here in the last couple of sessions. And I think there's some real opportunity there. I mentioned that in some of the prior posts. and. You know, at these current levels right now, uh, I think that, you know, we're really in an oversold situation here. And so slightest little bit of news could cause uh, some short covering in that market. And I think that's a little bit what we have going on here. But give me a call so we can get into more detail. I can talk to you about some strategies on how to play that. Moving on, taking a look at the complex. That's a little bit weaker also. Our bob's off slightly about 18 uh, ticks right now. And the heat's off about a penny and a half roughly. Uh, EIA data being released this morning. And one thing I think that's interesting here is in some of this data that was released, EIA right now, they raised their benchmark here for U.S. oil prices here uh, up to around 55 to a barrel here. So that's a target here now for 2015. They raised that up here just a little bit. Uh, so I do think that that's a good sign for the oil market. We look at the actual numbers that came out here today. Stocks here, we did see a build in the stockpiles here of about 4.8 million barrels. You know, I don't think traders are going to react to that here too bearishly, really. I mean, we've been seeing current builds in stocks. You look at our total stocks right now, it's around about 417, about 417.9 million barrels. You look for our all-time high for this time of year, it's around 372 million barrels. So you know, traders, I think, are already know that we've got plenty of oil out there. Now, take a look at the refinery capacity utilization, and we have seen a jump in that year over year. And a lot of things that I've looked at have also suggested that, you know, demand at the, the commercial level we have seen increasing. Last rig count report that came out, of course, we've seen that uh, uh, come down a little bit. And I don't think that's really much of a surprise. And it's not going to do too much right now to hurt uh, current production levels. But down the road, it could potentially. Uh, we've also seen a few wells. You know, we've seen those shut in a little bit. But you know, I think the main thing here really to focus on right now is you want to take a look at, watch the dollar, I think certainly, watch the overall uh, market conditions here, and watch the technical indicators. It's something I brought up a lot here. That you take a look at what the trade's been doing and, and the way that the market's been coming down, the way that the traders have been responding to that here. The market here recently, here in the last couple of weeks, dipped up, came up above that 10-day moving average. And that's the first time here that we've seen a lot of sessions above the 10-day moving average in over six months months. And so those of you that watch this market technically, you start to see here the, the move up. We've come down. The market's retesting here the 10-day the, uh, the moving average. I think today, basically, we are touching on it. We did trade through it a little bit. So I think today's closing price is important to watch. Also, take a look at the pennant formation that's starting to form on the chart. So I think there's starting to be some signs here uh, uh, and, 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 you know, and some potential opportunity that traders should really be keying in on. Give me a call. Shoot me an email so we can get into more detail. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.